What's up, crypto heads? John Fro here from Crypto Dreams. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs. Welcome back. Today is a very exciting episode. I'm going to be talking about three brand new games on the Wax blockchain. These games have not launched yet. In fact, they have not even dropped packs for their games yet. So it is very, very early for all three of these games. I just want to put them on your radar, make you aware that they are there. If you like the content on this channel, subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. It'd be much appreciated. So why don't we get right into it? This first game we are going to be looking at is Robo Empire. Robo Empire has not launched yet, but they have a test phase that is currently live. This is their test game. I am currently mining, as you can see here. In order to play this test game, you need to have an anchor wallet. You cannot play with the Wax Cloud wallet, and you need to have it set up under testnet. So I'm playing under the Wax testnet. It can be a little bit complicated to set that up. I'm probably going to be putting a video out about that exact thing. It's a little confusing. But in order to play this, you need an anchor wallet. So there's mining. Got your inventory down here. There will be crafting. I crafted a Spark MK2, which I am currently mining with. And I also crafted a Magneto MK1. Then they have their exchange. None of these tokens are actually live. This is all test net. So I don't own any NFTs and I don't own any tokens. This is just a testing phase. So they give you tokens so you can craft and start mining, but very cool. So that is an option if you want to get involved there but let's go ahead and look at this game a little bit i'm not going to be diving deep into any of these games just going to be giving you a very rough broad overview and let you know what's going on with them how to play robo empire is a mind and craft style game running on the Wax blockchain, which is the world's most proven and eco-friendly blockchain for games. Robo Empire is driven by the tokenomic with the vision to grow with players. To begin playing, the game only requires a player to own at least one NFT, which can be obtained from Atomic Hub. But again, you won't be able to find those yet. So they're just putting that out there for the future. Mind resources can be either used for crafting tools, which can be sold on Atomic Hub or withdrawn as tokens, which can be traded on Alcor Exchange. So they will be on Alcor. This game looks pretty cool. I like the idea. I like the graphics and the design. We will see how it goes. It's hard to say. All of these projects are very early project come and go on the wax blockchain some explode and take off some do absolutely nothing and drop down into the abyss so robo empire is compatible with all devices and all screen sizes mobile phones or desktop computers so it looks like they're going to be on mobile and everything in the future upcoming events Although as of now, the game runs smoothly on the test net, we still want to carry on the test phase for a few weeks to ensure that there is no flaw in the game. We will have a pack sale, which everyone is looking forward to once the test phase concludes. So these are their packs. This is our plan. We do not want to invest in something which is not yet completed. We do not sell dreams. We commit and execute. The quality of our product is what we focus on. 
to prevent bots from scooping up all packs, we decide to launch a pack sale on our internally developed system. This will ensure that everyone has a fair chance. So it sounds like they're gonna be selling their packs probably from their website. They're not gonna use Nefty or Atomic Cub for their sale. Probably a great idea. Botting is a huge problem. So no word on this yet about how it's gonna go. I am in their Discord and there's not a whole lot of info yet on anything. They got a few announcements, but nothing about the pack drop date, cost, none of that. So we got tokenomics here. This is just like a rough overview of their tokenomics. I don't see any percentages or numbers, so I couldn't say if their tokenomics is good or bad. Uh, they just kind of tell you what their tokens are and how they will work uh, within their system. So we'll have to see in the future. Vision, focus on product quality, grow with player, tokenomics is the core, transparency, listen to the community. So if they follow through on all of these, this will be a great project. So if we look at their roadmap here, they really only have Q1 laid out. As far as I know, they have not launched any packs, so that is still set to happen. Game launch is in testnet. New game system, initial DEX offering. So it looks like this game will be launching Q1 of 2022. So that is pretty exciting. That is very soon data-driven strategy. They have a pretty big team here. So I like to see that. A lot of these projects have like two people. If you were involved at all in Space Farm, that ended up being one guy trying to develop a game and it's completely collapsing. I personally try to avoid projects with very small teams. I like to see a big team like this. So this is a positive, in my opinion, for this project. So we will see what will happen in the future. They have a white paper you can dive into. If you want more details, I'll put a link to that in the description below. I recommend joining their Discord. They are currently giving away these passes right here. They are dropping links that you can click. And if you are fast and you see the link before anybody else, you have the opportunity to grab one of these for free. And these will likely be quite valuable. So pretty cool that they're doing that. I haven't seen a lot of projects do something like that. So that kind of shows that they're just not out there to get a buck. So I kind of like that. But yeah, I recommend joining their Discord Pretty small still as of yet, could blow up once things start moving. So very early on this project, very, very early. All right, next on our list is Kingdom Clash, a play to earn game. Wouldn't be putting this on my channel if it was not play to earn. Gameplay, conquer the wonder world. The gameplay is based on mining resources to build your kingdom and army, clash against other players, form a guild, and conquer the wonder world. You have the opportunity to write history in this virtual universe. Play to earn, powered by the Wax blockchain. They have had a promo pack sale already. I will show you those right now. So packs on Atomic Hub look like this and they are running about $11 at their lowest. Inside these packs, you are gonna get a sticker. By blending a samurai, a warrior, and a mage sticker together, you will get a whitelist round two pass. So level two whitelist pass. You can either buy one of these right off the market or you can do the blending they also have a higher level whitelist pass. These are a bit more expensive. 
$157 for that one. So that is the only pack that has dropped just whitelist packs. They have not dropped any buildings or heroes or anything of that type yet. We'll take a look at the roadmap quickly here. So VIP membership NFT was their first collection whitelist promo pack website launch. Next will be mining buildings NFT sale. So by holding one of the whitelist passes or membership VIP, you will be ahead of the public on the buildings NFT sale. And that is coming sometime in Q1. Q2, smart contracts functionality, web launch, building NFT sale. So they will be selling their buildings in Q2. Kingdom Clash token development and land sale. So it is still very early in this project as you can see. If we jump all the way to Q4, you could see that they won't even finish beta testing till Q4 of 2022. So very, very early on this project. It looks like they're taking their time, which I think is great. There is nothing wrong with that. No reason to rush or make promises that you cannot keep. That is how you lose your community. So we will see how this project goes. So want to put it on your radar. If we look at their white paper here, we can see their economy and resources. There's going to be wood, gold, stone, and food. So very familiar there. If you played any games on the wax blockchain, wood, gold, stone, and food is part of a lot of games. So that is a similar economy. Token is going to be KCT Kingdom Clash Token. Resources are earned in one way staking Lumber Camp NFT, Gold Mine NFT, Mining Camp NFT, or Farm NFT. So by staking, you will earn your resources. I've been in early on a lot of games. Likely they will offer staking opportunities before the game launches so you can earn your resources early. So being in early on games is always a very good thing, especially if it ends up blowing up, you're gonna be a happy camper. So NFTs and FTs, mining resource building, building, civilization, troops, that is an FT, hero, lands, wonder world, also an FT, and then bonuses. So we got the lands, rarities here, civilizations, buildings, different types of buildings, heroes, your different heroes, troops, guilds, wonder world, and you got bonus. Again, I'm not gonna run over all of this in detail. I will have a link to this in the description below if you wanna dive deeper into this white paper. Here on their Discord, you can see that there are 7,264 members. So already a decent Discord. This project is really new and they have already got a good following. So that's good to see. But just wanna throw this project on your radar. We will see what happens with Kingdom Clash in the future. All right, next on our list, we are looking at SAR. Play to earn NFT game on Wax blockchain. Live a life of one of four Yeti races and explore the islands of the ice continent. Protect the giant frozen holy cave of Armanda. Do not let the war begin again because of the scarcity of resources and shortage of space. So they got their game story here. I'm not gonna read over that. Upcoming events, nothing as of yet. Join their Discord. I would recommend doing that. Game concept, 
While analyzing the already existing play to earn games, we saw how little attention is paid to the visualization of the gameplay at the moment. This is why SAR will delight its community not only with the opportunity to earn money by playing, but also with well-designed, eye-pleasing graphics. And I gotta say, these do look cool. I'm gonna give them that. Those look pretty neat. That's something cool to hear. Let's look at their roadmap here. So Q4 2021, SAR is born. 2021 Q4 website release. And we are currently in Q1 2022. They have their SAR white paper out, Nepti collection whitelist, early and active Yeti free drop. So that already happened. Atomic Hub collection whitelist and whitelist sale. So that is currently where we're at. They're going to have a land packs sale, whitelist free drop, main packs sale, token listing on Alcor. So as you can see, very, very early in this game. This game also will not release till Q4 of 2022. So still very, very early in this game. Let's go ahead and take a look at their white paper. They have their game story. I'm not going to bore you out of your minds by reading this. Getting started. Let's go ahead and take a look at their NFTs. So they have their Yetis. The game will feature nine different types of Yeti. They go into a lot of detail here. I'm not gonna go into all that detail with you. I'm gonna leave that up to you. They're gonna have cabins, amulets. There will be six different amulets. There is also a lot of detail about each and every amulet. Magic brick, altar, and land. And they also have Mega Land as well. So probably going to be very rare, this Mega Land. But you can look over all of this yourselves. Again, I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. If we jump on their Discord, we can see that they had a drop for a premium pass. And these were not cheap. These are $150 per pass. So if we go ahead and look on Atomic, these are currently going for $189. So not too far above where they were sold at in the drop. Once they have a sale for Yetis or land, I would expect these to probably double, possibly even triple in price. But all the info you'll need to stay updated is going to be in their Discord. So I would recommend joining their Discord. You can see that they have a pretty good following already. 6.62K members. So they will have links to everything you need to know and all their current information is going to be in here. So that is all I have to show you today. Thanks for watching and listening. It is much appreciated. If you have a question or an opinion, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I will leave links to everything I've talked about today in the description below. If you like the content on this channel, be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. Until next time, I wish you health and wealth. I'm out of here. Grip.